I'm Sandra Gendler, and I'm a professor at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. We've been working on, a, on the development of a vaccine for cancer, and the strategy that we've taken has been to uh, utilize the immune system response to a protein called MUC1. Uh, MUC1 is a mucin, which is actually a protein covered with sugar. Uh, found on the surfaces of cells. It is found in virtually all, uh, in very many solid tumors and uh, multiple myelomas as well, and at very hi high levels. So approximately 90% of breast and pancreatic tumors uh, express or produce very high amounts of this protein. In recent years, I've been working together with Dr. Geert-Jan Boons, who is a professor at the University of Georgia in the Carbohydrate Consortium group. And he had devised a vaccine, a three-component vaccine, that involved a lipoprotein that tells the immune system uh, that it should get excited about what's coming, uh, a helper protein, and, and a protein that would elicit or would produce, uh, result in antibody and uh, cytotoxic T lymphocyte production. And we started to collaborate several years ago uh, using his vaccine, which contains a form of MUC1 that has the tumor form of glycosylation on it. This vaccine has turned out to be a, a very potent, very strong uh, vaccine because it, it gave us both gave us a reduction in the tumor size of about 75 to 80 percent, but it also gave us uh, antibodies that induced cell killing and lymphocytes that induced cell killing. So both arms of the immune system were activated. And this is actually one of the uh, strongest features of this vaccine. So we're, v we're very excited about this um, immune response, and we are in the process of uh, hoping to be able to translate this into the clinic. An optimistic uh, scenario would be that we'd start in late uh, 2013. So we have uh, applied for money uh, with with this company. There's there are small business grants whereby a, a, an academic institution and a company can get funding to really do the, the, uh, the toxicology that's necessary and the uh, stability determinations and things like that that are really necessary to get this vaccine uh, into the clinic. It, it has a huge advantage in that it's an off-the-shelf vaccine. It doesn't have to be uh, re-modified for each individual patient, which should reduce the cost substantially. And MUC1 is, is widely expressed on tumors, uh, breast, colon, pancreas, ovarian, endometrial, uh, and, and so it has a wide possibility of, of application. We feel that the, one of the powerful features of this vaccine is, is the fact that we've been able to elicit a very strong immune response. And we're just uh, moving forward uh, on many fronts, and I think that uh, it's really the concerted effort of, of everybody that is going to result in successful vaccines uh, that, that are really available, that are FDA approved and, and uh, available for everyone.